check, 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 check. Okay. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. I see you at the moon. I see you. But do the baby boo boo baby No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. I'll see you at the movies. I thought I believe. I just heard a noise. I'm hoping that's from outside. That or I'm going insane. Oh, maybe it's actually okay. Yeah, it's feedback. Um, I don't. Where do Where do I want to play? You would think that this method of looking at courses would be oh I don't know alphabetical. It's just like random. I, some of these I don't think are re even real. House on the Cliff. That's the name of a horror movie. And it looks hard. <laughs> it actually is hard. It's, it's <laughs> uh, we're, I don't know. Hope Share Golf Club. Hopeshire. All right, let's try that. You can type in the chat, by the way, and I'll see it, and I can reply to you. You have to type in the chat of the YouTube video, though. And then it'll actually pop up, and I'll see it in real time. It's fascinating technology. Um. All right, let's. Oh, Pe Pelikila Golf Club is hardest. Yes, really. I actually see it on the screen. You can actually, you actually might be able to even see it on the left there, where it says Vincent Cortina. I can see it. Look, guys, you're, my, my mouse is right there. See, it says really. It's really cool. Okay, we are going to do. Uh, let's do like a, let's do like an easy one. That way we feel like we're we're accomplishing something together. <laughs> Here we go. This one's marked easiest. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's in real time. It's it, there's a I think there's like a eight second delay. I think I that's part of the buffer is that there's an eight second delay. This is Weymouth Bay Golf Links. It is a par seventy two, eighteen holes with a total of six thousand four hundred and thirty one yards. Uh, medium slow green speed with soft greens and a normal fairway. We are gonna play a stroke game, and we're gonna create the match. That's my strangely fat man. Um, I'm going to shoot off of the white tee. Oh. Or maybe, wait. No, I am going to shoot off the white tees. And let's give it a shot. Here we go. Uh, when I first started playing this, I was originally going off of pro clubs, which are like, they're a little more sensitive, so you have to be very careful with shooting them. Then I went back to beginner clubs realized that there wasn't much of a difference <laughs> between the two and so i went back to pro clubs and i'll tell you i just started shooting a little bit more and i finally found that sweet spot and now it's actually i get a much more realistic golf experience out of this mode and you'll see why this is hole one it's a par four at 238 yards i have a feeling that this course is going to play very easy 
um, because it's considered the it's the easiest of courses. You'll notice that the green is very, very, very flat. Okay, so here's the difference. If I go into practice swing, that little meter that pops up on the right tells me how the shot's going to go. So the line there is like um, how straight my my uh, my um, stick is. But then now I have to even be concerned about the speed in which I go back and forth. So like if I go really slow like this, then you'll see it's slow on the backswing and then very slow on the front swing. If I go too fast, then see it's too fast, and then it can like shank and hook and all that stuff. So there's this sweet spot, and that's been the hardest part, is this sweet spot like this. I have to go like that. That was actually a little too fast on the back. And there you go. So let's try that. Three mile an hour uh, right to left. Perfect shot. That's going to hook a little bit to the left, and if we're lucky, it'll get a little bit of a bounce and land nearly towards the hole, and that is good. Nice little roll there on the left. Ah. That'll put us maybe six feet, seven feet. Good. Really flat green. This is the other hard part. Watch. If I go into practice swing, I have no indication as to how far I'm pulling back because there's no meter. I just have to physically watch the club. It's been the hardest part of this so far is the is the putting, which makes sense because putting in real life is also really hard. Now that was an eagle. I have a feeling that this is like a super duper easy course, so we're actually gonna stop. <laughs> I don't want to do this like super easy course. There's no, there's no fun in that. But that's pretty much it. Oh, it looks it looks fantastic too. It, the graphics really, really, really improved. <laughs> okay, so let's actually try a different course. Let's do one that's more like easy or maybe even medium. Um, there was one that was that looked really fun. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> Hardest? No. Um, you know, let's do this Hopeshire Golf Club. It's a medium course. That sounds that sounds just fine. Okay. Uh, white tees. And let's go. It's still all the same stuff, though. It's still like you know, punch, pitch, flop, all that. Here's hole one, that three forty nine yard par four. We'll let the camera kind of do its thing. I love the senior in this too. The other thing that this game has that the others don't, you can make your own course, which to me, that's fascinating. Now, you'll notice that there's a swamp in the way. Now, what's the over and under <laughs> that I hit the <this> swamp? <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's take a look. Uh, if you're worried about clubs, it's all on the top right. Oh, this fairway is so tiny. Oh, baby. All right, let's try that. Just a second, I'm going to make sure my shots are good. Yep, I'll take it. It's all about, man, if you can just hit the shot right, it's then, you know, solves all your problems. Beautiful. A little, a little crooked. And I really need this to not roll into the water. And stop. And stop. And stop. And stop. And stop. And stop. Thank you. There we go. Very good. And now, you could sh uh, now, uh, if you're watching this on your phone or your computer, you should actually be able to stream it to the TV, but then you won't be able to really interact with me, so whatever. All right. Uh, it's all about numbers. So the hole is 87 yards away, and at the top right here, my shot will be an 86-yard carry, assuming I do it at 100%. So it's going to come up a little short. So, I think what I want to do is, uh, it's hard. I actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of, um, I'm going to put a little low loft on it. So, if I hit the left trigger, it shows the lie of where the ball is. 
And then on the right here, I can adjust. I can do draw, fade, and then even adjust the loft. I can do different kinds of loft depending on the type of club it is. So I'm going to actually lower the loft a little bit. This is an 8 iron. Well, okay, that's a good point. So if I go to a 9 iron, it's going to do that. It's actually going to come up shorter. I think what you mean is I should go to like a 7 and then like just not hit it as much maybe? That's actually a thought, right? Uh, so what if I do that? And then, and then just not hit it as hard. But I don't really have good shot control on that right now. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to decrease the loft. It'll be in the time less. Or the air less, I mean. Let's see what happens. Good shot. And, oh, that's too far. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. This is not ideal. <laughs> no, you can always tell what club I'm using based off of what it says right here. It'll be next to this, like, left bumper, right bumper thing. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna chip it. And pray that I don't shoot it into the water. Here we go. That's probably as good as it's gonna get. Just like the other games, you can always you hold Y to like fast forward to speed up the game. Okay, so slight left to right. Now, this is hard because there isn't a preview button. It's a short shot. It's only five feet away. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And let's see what happens. Okay. Whoa, baby! That was a little. That was a little peppery. But it went in. So that was for even. So after one hole, it's like we haven't even done anything yet. Here's hole number two. It's a par five. 475 yards. As you can see, there's a lot of shit in the way. This is a beautiful dog leg right. It almost is a U. I'm going to kill whoever put all the swamp here. Uh, Look at that. Ugh. Wow. You know, if I was really good, I could shoot from here straight into the cream. <laughs> uh, let's not do that. All right. Oh, wow. This is going to be a lot of layup shots. Okay. So I'm going to try and um, shoot over the swamp because the wind is going to carry it a little bit. But I am also going to try this. No, wait. There's a tree in the way. Let's not do that. Is the bird sounds too loud? Because I can actually turn that down. In fact, I think I will. Uh, ambiance, vowel, volume. Watch, I can go. There we go. Oh, that's so much nicer. Uh, notice how I turned commentary off. Alright. Um... Okay, well, all these options are terrible. Let's fade it, like, a lot. All right, this is going to suck. Ready? That would have shanked horribly. Let's try that again. That was pretty good. That's about as good as I get. Oh, baby. Uh, sort. Oh, that was lucky. Ooh. Lucky. Lucky. Okay. Here's shot number two. Five mile an hour tailwind. Three feet down. We're gonna we're gonna lay up the ball a little bit because we know the wind's gonna take it a little bit more. And we're gonna use an eight iron. And if I'm looking at the green correctly. It's sloping away, so that means it's not going to do as much roll as, as I would anticipate. But, with the 3 mile an hour tailwind and the fact that it's 3 feet down, yeah, I was pretty lucky. Uh, yeah, I think that's about... Yeah, man, see, now it's funny. It's only a 2 mile an hour tailwind. I actually would have preferred if it was a little bit more. But the fact that the T is lower will help. So, let's try it. 
Here we go. Even flat surface. Perfect shot. Carry, carry, and hopefully get a little bit of a roll on the green. And no. Okay. Well. <laughs> that's that's just too bad. <laughs> okay. Well, this is shot three, and it's a par five. So if I made this in, it'd be an eagle. So it's actually not too big a deal. Um, this chip will go nine yards if it's a full swing and the thing is ten yards away. So we're going to aim a little left to compensate for the fact that the ball's below our feet. Like that. And I'm just going to just like that. Ready? I could have hit a little harder. I'm very, I was very worried about overshooting. Now this is for birdie. It's 11 feet away. It's not ideal. I really am trying to get all my um, approach shots to be 10 feet in. Um, but luckily this is just a minor right to left and a tiny bit uphill. So let's give that a shot. There we go. Pepper. It's in. Whoa. And that's for birdie. And now we're one under. We still got a lot of golf left, so we better keep going. I can usually get a full round in in about 35 minutes. 405 yards out. It's really laying me up short. I'm going to be a jerk and do that. Yeah, and I'm just going to do that. I'm also going to aim a little left because the wind's going to take a little to the right. Here we go. Perfect shot. Love the sound effects. Another difference is that there's no, like, you, like, absolutely cannot put any ball spin on it, so there's no point in in anything. Like, once the ball's hit, that's it. There's no, like, oh, I'm going to make it roll or anything like that. It's just, it's, it is what it is, so it's much more realistic, which is frustrating, but honestly, it's, you know, it's more realistic. Ball slightly under our feet, so it's going to go right. We're going to compensate by going left, and there's a left to right five mile on our wind, so it's going to go even more so that way. So let's put it, like, right there. And it's 19 feet up. So it's it's far. I I want to do that. But I don't think that's a good idea. So I think I'm just going to do this. Um, you know, maybe we'll put a little lower loft on it. Like that. And you know, let's see what happens. Perfect shot. Wind's going to take it a little bit, and it's going to roll right because of the of the green. There you go. I think I, I, I over-anticipated how much the wind would, would do it. But now here's for birdie. It's 12 feet away. The This is like, quote-unquote, where I'm aiming for based on um, the, the hill. So it's like, oh, if you like aim for 20, 10 feet away, it'll go 12 feet kind of deal. And this is telling me where the actual pin is. Slightly uh, left to right. So we're going to go like right there. And not too hard. Okay. Now, you may have seen that. It like it was going straight, and then as it slowed down, it caught more of the green there, and it pulled to the right. So I'm getting better at reading that. But now we are two under. Yeah, boy. This is a par four for hole number four at 265 yards. Sounds like a good opportunity for an eagle approach. We might be able to get right on that green if we play very, very aggressively. Let's see where the actual pin is. It's on the back end of the green, so we have lots of opportunity for roll, but you see there's a shelf there that is going to come into play, so we can't be a down here or else it's going to roll away. Let's and let's read that really quick, just to clarify. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 got a bit of a, a hill. So I'm gonna be aggressive, and we're gonna go right there. Um, and I'm gonna little lower loft. You can probably tell as I'm change the loft around, it moves the thickness of that, so it gives me less room for error on the swings. Okay, this is a super aggressive shot, but it's worth it. Here we go. Perfect. Let's watch. 
a little to the left, and it's it's going too far. It's going to hit the hill. And that sucks. Okay. Uh, not great. <laughs> but not bad either, because we're right on the rough outside of the green, and this is shot two of part four, so not a big deal. We're going to chip it. And a couple things to keep in mind. First off, the, the pin is two feet below. Now, because we're in the heavy rough, it's only going to go 73 to 80% of how far it's going to go. So even if I hit it full power, it's only going to get to maybe like there. But the pin's two feet below, so it'll probably roll a little bit more. So let's do that. And we're just going to hit it, and hopefully it'll, I'll get some roll. I know it's a full swing because as I do a backswing... The club head came right like here. So I'm going to watch the club head go up and then I'll go forward. That was too much. It almost basketball hooped into the hole though. That would have been lots of fun if that had worked. Okay. Uh, 13 feet shot. Slightly uphill, slightly right to left, negligible. Sensible. It just coasted right in. This is so far a very good round. Let's keep going. Here's another par three, only 105 yards. I could probably throw the ball better. Look at all this crap that I can hit. Yippee! <laughs> do, you like, do you like how the red tee is just six inches forward of the white tee? That's nice. Okay. Four mile an hour left to right. Four feet down. Uh, let's do that. And it's rolling. Let's, um... Let's put a little extra loft on it. That'll decrease my distance. Just a touch. It'll compensate for the four feet above, or four feet below. Fast on the backswing. Oh, that's going to drop and fall. Oh, ooh. If I had put less loft on that, it would have been even closer. How about that? Eight feet back. Even. But heavy left to right. So I'm going to have to really, really, like that like a lot wow indeed um okay here we go eight feet away oh i didn't create that course that was a course we downloaded it was like the jungle course does that is, does this remind you of that <laughs> You're sending all of your messages many times, by the way. Just want to let you know. Yeah, you're, I'm seeing all of your messages like three or four times. So you're maybe hitting the enter button. Yeah. Yeah, it was the it was called the beast. Uh, par four, 358. I'm going to very aggressively shoot um, the fairway here very aggressively. Because, you know, why not? Perfect shot. And you couldn't ask for a better approach. Can you actually, can you see your chat on the bottom left of the screen? Right here? Pitch shot. 55-yard carry on that. It is right on line. We are going to give it some extra loft. Just so that it's not anywhere near the fringe. Right there. And drop. That took that went a little farther. Yeah, it is pretty small. I think I could actually make it larger. 
In fact, hold on. Let me see if I can make it larger. Uh, chat. Chat? No. No. Okay. Chat overlay. Oh, I can make it larger. Watch this. Ready? I can go... Boop! Okay, there we go. I made the chat larger, so now I can see it a little better. Maybe you'll see it better. We're ten feet away from the pin. Slight right to left, not too much. And that's gonna... Ugh! I didn't even rim it. It just... It was just so close. Ugh, three feet away. No, one feet away, excuse me. That's for par. That's too bad. That would have been killer, though. I had a game this past weekend where every single one of my putts within 10 feet went in in one shot. I was very proud of that. Here's a par 3, 99 yards, even shorter. Uh, t pin is in the front half. Ugh. All right. Um... Well, I hate this. Okay, so the question... Is that where the ball's going to end up? Like, that's... Where the circle is, is, is assuming that that's even with where I stand. But it's 15 feet up. Um... Dang. If I don't shoot it enough, it's going to go right into that sand trap. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use one of my two... Um, one of my two shot previews. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a really high loft to sort of like get it up. And now I'm going to hit left stick, and I have two shot previews for the entire ground. So watch, I'm going to hit green... And let's see what happens if I do just do a full shot. Ready? Let's see where that goes. Yeah, see, that's short. Okay. Well, right now I'm using a lob wedge. I can use a sand wedge instead. A 9 is going to put me all the way out here. That's way too far. Unless I use less power. But... That I would have to do like look, I'd have to do like a fifty percent shot, and I'm not good at that yet. So I'm actually, I think I'm just gonna use a sand wedge. Slightly to the right. See, oh, still way too far, way too far. Ah, take a bounce, take a bounce, take a bounce, take a bounce. And it's gonna roll down the hill. Okay. All right, all right. We're gonna pretend that that was on purpose. Uh. Eight feet to the pin, slide right to left, slightly downhill. Put a right, the uh, arrow right there, and that's straight in. How about that? Ooh, that was scary. Good thing we did the shot preview. I think it's insanity though that you get two of those per game, per round. Ugh, this just seems so barbaric. I remember in the old game, my God, you got you got a shot preview per putt. Par 5. Long. Where the hell are we going? Hold on. What? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this is not a part of the course. <laughs> I have to... T <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I see. This is like that really hard pin right there. You have to shoot over this thing. Yeah, the putting's working out. Um, Alright, so we're going to try and put the ball like here. fascinating all right uh oh god oh god oh man um why do they put the fairway like literally sideways all right this is an opportunity to try a draw ready we're gonna go yeah. i have a very very tiny window to make this correct watch Alright. Here goes nothing. 
Look at that. Oh, go through the tree. <gasps> bounce. Bounce. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Whew. Scary. 150 out. There's a giant tree in the way, of course. Uh... I'm not a fan of this. Okay. If I do this, it will definitely go way too far because it's six feet down and there's a three mile an hour tailwind. If I do that, I think it'll be right. I think. I think. Here goes nothing. Oh, and I totally went far to the right. That's, yep. Yep. All right. You can see my shot. It went, whoop. <laughs> no. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, this is bad. Uh, ooh. All right. Now, at the risk of playing ping pong... And drop. Yeah. Uh oh, okay. I actually hit it too hard. This is for. Oh, okay. This is for birdie. That was cool. So if I actually gotten that other shot, this would have been for eagle. But it's not. And the shot's gonna be fucked. Uh, twenty feet away. <laughs> very downhill. Very very hard right to left. Uh, I need to be careful to not overhit it. Oh my god, look at the bend that that took. Holy crap. Ooh, that's going to put us probably uh, five feet away from a pin. Maybe six. Oh, four. Okay. And that's it. That's for par. I'll take it. It's too bad. Par fives usually want to try and get birdies on, but whatever. We're going to finish out the front nine with a 383 yard. Four. Par four. My little golf cart there in the distance. Very cute. Okay. Very thin fairway. This course is not easy. Uh, I don't know. How about this? Ready? And then we'll go like a little draw. That might bend a little to the right. Ooh, ooh. You like that little, little lefty left? That did exactly what I wanted it to. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, lie is right to left. The ball's above me, so it's going to go a little left. You have to compensate by aiming to the right. So we're going to put it about there. Um, okay. Four mile an hour tail. Four mile an hour. Yeah, bleh, four mile an hour headwind, but three feet down. So there's a good chance that if I just do it, it'll do what I need it to. Yeah. All right. We're just going to try it. Perfect shot. And that looks like it's right in line, and that's going to drop really nicely. Oh. It's a beauty. Three feet away. Ooh. And that's it. Beautiful birdie. Could not have asked for anything better. And that's a nice way to end the front nine. Hey, we ended the front nine. Six under, only three pars, no bogues. I'll take it. Let's look at the back nine. Starting with a par four, 343 yards, 13 stroke index. Look at my little guy. Okay. Let's hit a pine tree. No, let's not do that. Um, hmm. Uh, ugh. I don't. You know what? I don't feel like. I don't think driving the, the green is really like a great idea. So we're going to put the shot there with, um, with the five wood, and then I'm just going to draw it just so that I get a little bit more of the fairway there. Let's try that. Perfect shot. 
Nice little draw. And that's going to get us around that downhill. It'll take a little roll. And by a little roll, I mean a lot. Yeah, that was the right call. You know, it's a fast fairway. That would have that would have really flown. Good. Here's shot number two. I'm using a sand wedge. Don't know why. Uh, ten feet up. So let's do that. Uh, or Labouche should do that maybe. Let's do that. Let's do that. That seems smarter. Might go right. Drop, 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 drop. Mm, okay. Yeah. I could have put maybe a little more loft on that or used a shorter club. Oh dear. This is 22 feet away. Uh, it is right to left. No, excuse me. Left to right. And it is slightly up, but then slightly down. If I go ahead, just normally. And we're going to do that. I think it's like, this sounds insane. I think it's literally you pull back half a second for every five feet. It's going to go right. Yeah. Ugh! But the speed was right. That's the right speed. But I just needed to make it break more. Savage. Par. Yeah. I think so. Okay. You know what? Now I'm not seeing your chat. So I think, hold on. There we go. How about that? Okay, let's see if that works. <laughs> okay. Oh, a bench. Uh, wow. This sucks. I, I hate this. This is terrible. No, I don't like any of this. Because I want, I really want to go for right there, but there's no, there's no, like, runway. I'm better off just doing that. What a weird hole. <laughs> you know, I could do that. No. Okay, I'm going to do something really stupid. Uh-oh. It's going to go on the path. Oh, no. Oh, I got a nice bounce there. Ooh. Unfortunately, the lie of this is, uh, shit. It's right to left. Um, hmm. Uh... I don't know how to read this. Okay. Let's do that. Please do what I think you're going to do. Uh, that's not what I think you're going to do. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> that was insanity. <laughs> okay. 
Wow. <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. Um, left to right. Slightly downhill. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> that that was insanity. <laughs> Could you imagine if that went in? <laughs> oh man, this is scary. Okay, mm, par three, one fifty-eight. I'm getting lucky. Um, you know what's helping is I'm talking out a lot more of my choices, and that's I think that's helping my decision making. Okay, this should be a very straightforward. Two feet up, barely any wind. It's like a straight line. This should be this should be no problem. Um, I'm even gonna slightly put it to the right because the green's even rolling to the right, and that'll help a little bit. I'm gonna put a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of loft on it, like that, just like that. That'll help stop the ball. That might go right. Yeah, it's gonna go a little right because my shot wasn't straight. Oh, that's... Mm, I need you to stop. I really need you to stop. I need you to stop. I need you to stop. And there it goes. Well, you remember that really nice streak we had? <sighs> okay. Here's shot two of three. Uh, no, I do not want to chip that. That's a really, really awful idea. We are going to flop that bad boy on. And stop. That's too far. Okay. I got to get better at um, these, like, 50% power shots. I don't know how to do them well. Anyway. This is for par. Not ideal. 15 feet. Uh... This is poopy. Let's try that. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that was spooky. That was a good save, though. I'm getting pretty nice at those, like, 10 to 15ers. Just, like, getting just the right amount. It feels good. It feels a real good. Here's a par 5, 461. We've got an opportunity to smack the crap out of the ball, so here we go. Straight shot. It's perfect. Look at her go. the hell's going on all right uh doobie doobie doo 18 feet up okay uh i feel like i should club up to like the hybrid no that doesn't feel like a good idea. How about I just put a little more... Face my club down a little bit. These all feel like bad options. Um, I don't like any of these options, actually. Uh, hmm. You could punch the ball. No. I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> this is, I don't know. <sighs> All right, you know what? I'm going to do the following. I'm going to low loft and get a little more roll. I have no idea this is going to work. 
do it. Oh, that's, yep, 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 yep. And stop, and stop, and stop, and stop, 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 stop. Okay. Uh. Yeah, 20 feet. Oh, but this is for Eagle. This is for Eagle. This is exciting. This is, this is the real shit. Um, right to left. Slightly down. How is the right to left, like, near the hole, though? G it's gentle. Okay. 20 feet away. Here we go. <laughs> and this is for birdie. No. That would have been something. That would have been some. Would have been a little something, something. Is what it would have been. Okay. Here's a par four, 265 yards, and we're on number hole 14. We're getting real close to the end here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. Oh, look, water, my favorite. Oh, look, an island. Even better. Oh, you know, I could, you know, if I hit it really hard. <laughs> no, God, no. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I want to hit it. No, it's a bad idea. Okay. I'll just lay the shot up. Well, yeah, I'll just lay the shot up. It's okay. And I just shanked it. Please, please don't do what I think you're going to do. That was very lucky. Okay. Ah, see, now it's only seven feet down. I don't feel as terrified of this anymore. <laughs> um, uh, slight loft. Seven, eight iron. There's just a hill. I need to make sure I do not roll down that hill. Otherwise, I'm in for a hell of a time. Perfect. I need you to really just stick and just stick. Stick. <gasps> yes. 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 Perfect. It's a beauty. It's only two feet away. Boop. Giggity friggin' goo. You know, I was telling you that this game was too hard. It, I, I'm, it's right. It, this is really hard. I can't. <laughs> it's requiring a lot of concentration. The learning curve for this was a was such a bitch. But now that I'm like getting it, getting it, it, it it's it is really fun. It's so. I think because it's harder, the satisfaction of getting a good shot is like extra satisfying. Also, learning a lot of the terminology on the previous Tiger Woods games has helped a lot. Uh, okay, we're going to do a really heavy draw. Here we go. That's going to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, remember how I was saying this game was fun? <laughs> well, fuck. Oh, dick. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 what? Oh, God. Wait, where the hell is the T? Oh, oh, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. It, like, faced me the complete wrong direction. <laughs> oh, that sucked. No, there's the hole. Alright. I can use a driver in the heavy rough, right? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, this sucks. Uh, 
I'll take it. I wish that didn't happen, but <laughs> but here we are. Okay. Uh, shot three on the par five, so we're going for the birdie approach right now. 11 feet up. Two mile an hour tailwind. We are going to do that. And I'm even going to put it more like there in the hopes that it'll catch the hill. Tiny amount of loft. Yeah, no woods in the woods, but here I am. Okay, that shot shanked because my forward speed was was too slow, so it went to the right. So that was because my timing was bad. Um, so now this is for birdie, and it's 18 footer. Uh, uphill, right to left. Let's do this. That's not gonna go in. Oh. Uh, Maron. And for par. Six inches away. Clunk. That's unfortunate. We had an opportunity there for some, some nice catch-up. It's all right. That, yeah, that was my first, like, not well-timed shot. In the shot. That's the thing. You do these shot speed things, and if you're wrong, it'll just go totally wrong direction. It's very frustrating. Here's a... Par three and ninety nine yards. Just could get over this little gully. We only have three more holes to go. Ah, uh, sixteen feet down. Uh, okay. Lob wedge. So lots of loft. It's the shortest club I have. I'm gonna. Mm. Pull the loft up even more. That'll help with the distance. Ooh, that's going to shank again. That's going to shank. Ooh, shnikes. Okay. That could have been worse. <laughs> uh, I hate these major hills. Uh, uphill, right to left. Here's for birdie. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, the, sh the shanks are just so unforgiving in this. It's so unforgiving. In the other game, you could just, like, pull the club back, wait, and then push it forward. If you don't get the right tempo, it just goes in totally different directions. It's super, super frustrating. Here's hole 17. It's a 400 yard par 4. We're really opening up to the clubhouse. Alright, driver straight down the middle. Nothing fancy. Clean shot. Gotta really pay attention on my shot swings. I don't want to get lazy in these last couple holes. I played a tournament game yesterday and I was 5 under for the round and then I got a bogey on the last one and it put me from first place to tied for 7th. So, got to really make sure that on the back end you really focus and try not f fuck everything up. Nine feet away. I'd like some roll. Yes, please. That's going to shank. I went to the right. Oh, dear God. Okay. And, okay, fine. Yeah, my sh my forward swing. I think my thumb slipped on the sweat of the fucking controller. Anyway. Um, this looks flat. This looks very flat, actually. In fact, I think it... I think it's virtually flat. 19 feet. That's going to go left. Oh. That hurts. Par. Damn. Oh, fudge. Three pars in a row. Let's see if we can end the final hole with a birdie. On this final par three, 174 yards. There's the parking lot. I'm going to go run over a pedestrian after this. 
We're shooting for right in the middle of the green. Nine feet down. Let's do like that. I think that'll be exactly what I need. And on this final one, we're going to really, really double check that my shot... Ooh, that was actually really good. That my shot is really nicely timed. Nah, that curved. Slow on the forward. That would have shanked. Better. Still slow almost. Perfect. Okay, I'll take it. Perfect. L almost slow on the forward. It's going to go a little farther right than I was anticipating. Alright, we've got a, we've got some work. We've got some work on this final putt. Uh, this, is, this is for birdie. It's the final hole. That is as flat as it's going to get. We have a shot preview, so what I'd actually like to do is on this final one, we're going to do it. Ready? This is a shot preview. Oh, that would have bounced in. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that hurts my soul. Uh, well, hey, that front nine was really nice. <laughs> Let's see. We ended today with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine birdies and all pars. So we finished totally over a no bogey round. That's pretty damn good. Let's take a look. This. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. You earn XP and then every level I gain, you gain like hats and shirts and other bum dumb shit. Uh, let's, before we end, let's take a look. Okay. So that actually lowered my handicap by 0.6. I finished nine strokes under, which is very good. Fairway and regulation was 84%. That's pretty good. Green regulation was 88%. That's very good. And my putts per hole was 1.44, which is less than my sort of like self-managed goal of 1.5. So that's really, really, really good. That means for more than half of the holes I won putted. So that's all that's that's good. Um let's take a look at the round stats. Two ninety five was the longest drive. Uh longest putt was a fourteen fit basically fifteen footer. Uh we did that, we did that. Oh average driving distance is two fifty. Um average distance the ball comes to rest from the hole after the players approach. So yeah that's because I had some approach shots that were really shitty. My one putt percentage was 55%. Right, so the amount of times where I landed on the green and then got it one was 55%. Um, this is good. Okay, this is a really interesting stat. So every five foot and less putt was, was perfect. Every five to ten foot putt was perfect. And then everything above 10 feet was 38% chance of making it. So that's not bad. Um, yeah. Not nine birdies, nine pars. You know what? That's, I'll take it. That's really good. That's awesome. I'm going to favorite that course. And I'll rate it a four. Beautiful. Okay. So that's how that game works. It is it is super super fun. You can actually even turn on handicap course that way. Like as you play, and you play with other people that you know, you can turn on your handicap that way. It's even for everybody, even if um, even if you're not the same level. So it it, it is fun. It's just like it's just it's just it's brutal. It's it's super unforgiving. <laughs> so there you go. And then I can go to my guy. Oh yes, yeah, so you can like um, you can like make courses. You can uh, do putting lessons and pitching lessons and chipping lessons. Um, you can um, you can like change your guys' stuff. You like unlock shirts. You can even like set it so that when you're playing a tournament, you have different clothes on different days. Um, yeah. Yeah, my guy's super cool, right? Cool. All right. Yeah, maybe we'll do that again sometime. All right. I will talk to you soon.